Something that I've always found very ironic is that no WhatsApp group, or at least the ones that I am part of, has established rules of behavior or conduct, something that would be very useful in preventing the saturation of digital trash, memes, and senseless or useless debates that only cause negative reactions and sometimes even hurt people's feelings. For this reason, and many more, I have decided to do this video and establish a series of points for anyone to use and promote as a code of conduct in their groups. 1. Respect the purpose and objective of each group. A WhatsApp work group shouldn't be used to send messages or content of a personal nature, as well as groups of friends and family shouldn't be used for business purposes. That's what direct messages are for. 2. Don't use groups just to send memes, videos, pictures, and news without reading and reacting to the content shared by others. The purpose of a WhatsApp group is to establish collective conversations with others, but when you only place content but never read or interact, the existence of such groups loses their purpose. No one likes monologues. 3. Never send content, information, or news that hasn't been verified. Placing content whose authenticity has not been definitely proven can be very dangerous and harm many people. WhatsApp is infested with lies and it's better to put a stop to them than to be guilty of spreading them. 4. If you feel uncomfortable in a group for any reason, feel free to leave or mute the notifications. It's better to be criticized for leaving than for always complaining. 5. Give your complaint to the group administrator. Before sending a complaint to a group, identify the administrator and share your thoughts with him or her. 6. Don't get angry if someone doesn't respond to your messages in a group. No one is obligated to do so. Better send him or her a direct message. 7. Think before you send. Before sending a video, picture, meme, or any content, analyze if such material will be in the interest of the majority of the members of the group. 8. Avoid forwarding to all your groups. When forwarding a message, picture, or video, and you're choosing multiple recipients, avoid sending it to all your groups, since hardly the same content will be suitable or of interest to all. 9. Avoid religion and politics. Unless it's a thematic group on politics or religion, avoid placing such content, since hardly all will have the same religious beliefs or political preferences. Avoid unnecessary debates. 10. Unless tolerated by all, avoid sending any content that is violent or pornographic. It's common for only men groups or only women groups to circulate inappropriate content, but it is important to always keep in mind that many people may feel uncomfortable, especially when the content affects someone's reputation. 11. Avoid conversations with only one person. When noticing that you're having a dialogue with a single member of the group, consider changing the conversation to a direct message because the rest of the group may not be interested in reading your conversations with another person. 12. Use the reply function. When replying to a specific comment from a person, use the reply function to make sense of your comment and avoid confusion. 13. Write clear and simple. Keep in mind that your words can be interpreted in multiple ways, so use short sentences that can't be misinterpreted. 14. Don't abuse emojis. There are some that don't require explanation, but others can be interpreted in different ways and generate confusion. And 15. Avoid sending large videos or files. Nobody likes to saturate the memory of their smartphone or waste their data internet plan on nonsense. When we manage to get everyone to understand and practice these points, the dynamics of all group chats will change for good and we'll all be benefited.